Hello, and welcome to Notes of Nine. I'm David Leedy. Episode 26, Collapsing and Expanding Views in Next Pages. Nothing is ever easy, but some things should be. Okay, uh, today I want to talk about how to collapse and expand and categorize view next pages. This is not a show I really intended to do right now. I've got a couple other things in the fire, but I, I got a, a question from uh, from somebody, and, and I tried to help him, and it wasn't going too well, so I thought I'd put the show together, and, and as I was trying to uh, help him, uh, things weren't working, and they should have, um, so, so then I had to asked some people for help and, and became this big thing so it's like all right let's let's wrap this up and, and try to get this out here so this is mostly gonna be a, a demo show uh, I'm gonna try to put some of these code snippets and, and links into uh, the the show notes or, or blog post uh, I guess uh, first thing is I do have to say that uh, uh, this disclaimer that uh, I am now uh, using uh, the 853 beta release. Uh, the reason that I migrated to the 853 beta is for some of the stuff that uh, I want to do in a little bit. Um, so nothing really in this show or is going to be focused on any new features or anything like that, but but I am using it, and, and I do want to thank IBM for, for letting me use the beta release in the screencast early. They, they went out of their way to let me do this, and, and I, I truly do appreciate that, uh, because again, the, 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 the stuff that I, I, I need it for, I think is really good stuff, um, but that's for another day. So again, beta, uh, things are subject to change. You can read you can read this here, and uh, thanks to IBM for, for allowing me to use that. So, okay, uh, let's get on with the demo. Okay, so the back story here is, is, is I found a post back from 2009 kind of asking how to do this, and, and, and there wasn't a great um, solution right away. Um, until Lars came in here and 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 posted this, which should have worked, but uh, I couldn't get to work. Um, and this is using uh, session scopes, um, setting a, a variable in, in scope to uh, either a one or a zero to control the expand level, and then reading that in via data data expand level on the the view control property. And, and that makes perfect sense. Uh, the context reload page does not make perfect sense. Uh, you shouldn't need to do that. Uh, I wouldn't think. Um, you should be able to do a partial refresh, but again, I couldn't get this to work um, for the most part. So then Tabor came up with, with the actual solution I'm going to demo um, in a bit, and and that's works, but it, this is like really like migraine inducing stuff for for you know the notes client guy trying to wade into here. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look at this hopefully fairly closely. So let's let's see this in action. So here's a view you know with with a classical category. And again, this may not be the best UI construct in the world. There are probably better ways to do it. And we can, using Tabor's solution, expand all. We can collapse all, and and we can just do this happy little dance here. Um, the the other solution, which again should have worked, but uh, not really, um, kind of worked here for expand all, which surprised me because I couldn't get it to work uh, prior to the show. Um, but the collapse all, I can't get to work, so uh, I don't really know what's going on here. So let's let's look at this behind the scenes. So on, on the buttons that don't work, but I maintain should, I'm told it's going to be fixed. Um, it's a simple view scope put, uh, create a variable in view scope, assign it to 1, and for it to expand all, assign it to 0. And again, I don't think you should need to do this. I think the full update or partial update should work. Uh, hopefully that will be fixed. But where do you go with these scoped variables? Well, y you click in your view controller, properties, and you find data, data, expand level, and, and you read them in. And there's even help here that says, you know, set it to zero means responses are expanded. One means they're collapsed. Um, again, should work, but doesn't. So we've got this solution here. And if we, oops, look at these buttons. No, not the source. Okay, what are we doing here? We're creating a var called view panel, and we're doing a get component, and we're grabbing hold of our view panel. Now, this is where the pain uh, kind of comes in, because uh, I don't really know what this stuff is. Um, but it's we're taking the view panel, and we're calling this method get data model, and we're creating a model object. Then the model has this method called get domino view data container, and we're putting that in this container var, and the container has collapse all. Um, and which is what we're going for. So where does that come from? Well, uh, I was given some help on that from that uh, post from Tibor. And then uh, Keith Strickland from GBS 
pointed me to um, uh, these. Oops, let's go back here. These Java docs here for for Domino View data model. And if we come down here, there's there's a method for get Domino View data container. Okay, I'm, this is like Lotus Script. I can do this. I mean, this this is easy, kind of. But then you get to this get Domino View data container. There's no click here, so there's no place to go to this data container, which obviously has a collapse all property. Um, so that's where I got lost. Uh, there's a collapse row business here, which may have some value at, at some point, an expand row. But again, the, to get to the collapse all, it seems we need to dive into this get domino view data controller. And I don't know where to go from here. So anyway, but what I do want to show you is, okay, so these are buttons on the page. Let's turn this into a custom control to make it reusable. So if we come down here to new custom control, CC, I'll just call it CC buttons. I'm just going to go into source here and paste it in. And this is the exact code from the X page. Okay, so I haven't modified it at all yet. So if we look at this, events, okay, same code. What we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of the hard-coded name, and we're going to use composite data. And then uh, some variable name. So um, we'll just call it view name. And we'll spell it correctly. And we'll copy this because we're lazy. Okay, and then we'll come to the, the expand all button. And we'll do the same thing. So we're going to replace this. With, and what, what composite data is, is, is kind of a hook to get the value of this property we're going to set. And where do we do that? Well, we come down here to this property definition. And we're going to say new property, uh, view name. And leave it at string. Done. Okay, now we're going to go back to our X page and take our custom control, drop it on the page, and I guess I should have said on the custom control, drop it on the page. And now under all properties, under custom properties, there's this view name here. So we know this is view panel one, so we can just type in view panel one. Now when we go to our browser, okay, we've got this new stuff here on the custom control, collapse all, expand all. So now this custom control is going to be reusable for this purpose for any collapsible views uh, that we might have. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to add real quick is I just wanted to highlight a post by Stefan Whistle who's a, a, an IBM or a great X page uh, developer. And, and he has his own solution here for um, uh, collapse and expand all, it seems. And uh, again, this, this, this hurts my head too. Uh, but this may make more sense to some than others, uh, probably, uh, but not me. So, or at least not today. So uh, food for thought. And that's uh, the demo. That's collapsing and expanding views. Uh, if you have any questions, um, you can contact me here, and I thank you for your time.